Hello everyone, today we will discuss the Poisson bracket of the two dynamical variables which are the functions of the generalized coordinate and generalized momenta. Here you can see that there are two functions u and v which are the function of the generalized coordinate and generalized momenta and time. We know that the Poisson bracket for such functions can be written as del u over del qi del v over del pi minus del u over del pi and del v over del qi. There are some fundamental rules in Poisson bracket and the first rule is that Poisson bracket of the generalized coordinate and generalized momenta if they are different then it will be equal to delta ij. And the property of the delta is that if i is equal to j then delta ij will be equal to 1 and if i is not equal to j then delta ij will be equal to 0. Now there are other properties of the Poisson bracket and the first property is that when the generalized momenta component and the generalized coordinate are same then the value will be equal to 1. Similarly here we can write phi p phi and r p r all these will be equal to 1. We can prove it let us say u is equal to x and v is equal to px. If we open the Poisson bracket then you know that it will be equal to written as del x over del x into del p x over del p x minus del x over del p x into del p x over del x. So this value will be equal to 0 and this value is equal to 1. So we can say that x p x will be equal to 1. Similarly y p y will be equal to 1 and z p z will be equal to 1. Or we can also prove that RPR or phi P or phi will be equal to 1. But when the generalized momenta component and the generalized coordinate are different, then the value will be 0. And the third one is that when the two functions have the same generalized coordinates, then their value will be equal to 0. The other property is that qi fpi it can be written as del f over del pi. Similarly, here f qi comma pi it will be equal to del f over del qi. Now we can prove that x py is equal to zero. Let us say u is equal to x and v is equal to py. So the Poisson bracket of this quantity x p y will be written as del x over del x del p y over del p x minus del x over del p x del p y over del x plus del x over del y del p y over del p y minus del x over del p y and del p y over del y. All these quantities will be equal to zero. So we can say that Poison bracket of the generalized momenta and generalized coordinate if are not same then will be equal to 0. Now we will discuss the Poison bracket of the component of the vector of angular momentum. You know that angular momentum is represented by capital L and it is equal to R cross P. Here R is position vector and p is linear momentum so r is equal to xi plus yz plus zk and p can be written as pxi plus pyz plus pzk so if we write l is equal to r cos p then you know that it can be written as in terms of the determinant form so it will be written like ijk in first row xyz then px py and pz now here we can find the value of lx, ly and lz. 
if you find an x here then it will be equal to y p z minus z p y similarly we can find by opening the determinant value of l y and l z now in case of the angular momenta the poison bracket properties are if the angular momentum component and the generalized coordinate are same then the value will be equal to zero similarly if the angular momentum component and the generalized momenta component are same then the value will also be equal to zero but if the angular momentum component and the generalized coordinate are different then the value will be next coming order value see here x y and z so a cyclic order is maintained here and we will have the output here as z similarly here p x l y is equal to p z it is also important that the value which is with angular momentum component that will be equal to the output but in a cyclic order similarly here you can see y l x so it is not a cyclic order and it will be equal to minus z similarly here p z l x so it will be a cyclic order and it will be equal to p y here you have to note that it is not equal to l y because the quantity which is with l that is p z so output will be in terms of the generalized momenta or in generalized coordinate but if the value is uh, like here you can see that there are two generalized angular momentum component one is the l x and the other is l y then it will be equal to l z if the cyclic order is not maintained then it will be equal to minus value suppose i write l y l x then it will be equal to minus l z right because in poison bracket the commutation law is not followed or we we can say that a b of the poison bracket is equal to minus b a now we will solve some numerical problems here we have to find the poison bracket of the two dynamical variables which are given as u is equal to x p y minus y p x and v is equal to x p x plus y p y here you can see that u and v are the function of x p x y and p y and similarly v is also function of x p x y and Py. so when we open the poison bracket for these two dynamical variables then it will be equal to del u over del x del v over del px minus del u over del px del v over del x in first bracket plus the second bracket del u over del y del v over del py minus del u over del py del v over del y here you can remember that if the function if the variables are function of suppose x p x y and p y here then you have to differentiate u and v in the first bracket with respect to x and p x and then in the second bracket with respect to y and p y right if there is the other variable say z then it will be like del u over del z del v over del p z minus del u over del p z and del u over del z so when we solve here the value then we find that it is equal to zero the next problem is that poison bracket of lx p y it will be equal to p z we can prove it you know that lx is equal to y p z minus z p y and let us say it is equal to u and then we can consider p y as v so when we open the poison bracket and you will have because here u is function of y and p z similarly v is function of, of p y so the poison bracket of u and v dynamical variables will be equal to del u over del y del v over del p y minus del u over del p y del v over del y plus del u over del z del v over del p z 
minus del u or del p z del v or del z when we find all these values then we say that it is equal to p z now the third problem is that poison bracket of l x l y and it is equal to l z you know that l x can be written as y p z minus z p y and l y can be written as z p x minus x p z if you see here the poison bracket of the two dynamical variables then you see here that z is present in both the functions u and v so we can write the poison bracket for the term which is common and it will be written as del u over del z del v over del p z minus del u over del p z del v over del z because the other terms will be zero so when we find the value of del u over del z and del v over del p z del u over del p z and del v over del z then it will give us x p y minus y p x so we can find the Poisson bracket of the dynamical variables now we will learn some more numerical problems in the next coming video thank you